beer or something to be back here. The Dirty Red's asking for a drink over there. Order up! Them folks are gonna be riding home by this. I say the three of us go, and you go back in the kitchen. They can't serve that food. Yep. I go that sign them, okay? Yeah, I suppose so. Joe? Yes. I'm John Taffer. Very nice to meet you. This might be the worst bar I've ever seen in my life. OK. But when was the last time you washed your hands? Mm, when I went to the restroom. When you went to the restroom? You got a cook in the back who mm -hmm. curses every time he gets an order. Yes, he does. All he wants to do is go home. Doesn't want to cook anything, correct? Yeah. Dirty Ray. How's it going? Who the fuck are you? Who the f am I? Yeah. I'm going to be the guy who shows you how to run a kitchen properly. So let me ask you a question. How many cigarettes you smoke tonight? Uh, two? Two. How many times you wash your hands tonight? I want you to understand how bad this is. I'm sitting outside watching a cook who doesn't want to cook, and you have raw meat and chicken everywhere that you touched. You then make a Bloody Mary. Her hands are all over everything. So your kitchen is disgusting. Where's the manager in this place? I seen you coming over to this disgusting grill as Tell me food. about it. Tell you about it. You're the cook. Who cleans these I can't do everything. I cannot do everything here. What's your name? Michael. And you run this place? Yes, sir. Do your employees, are they required to wash hands? Yes, sir. Did they? Mm, if you're yelling at me, I might have to assume no, sir, they haven't. Do you have a cook who's putting on gloves properly or not? I'd sell gloves on his hands, yes. Well, he's touching raw product with the gloves on. So you don't know what's going on in the kitchen. You don't know what's going on in a bar. How much money are you losing a month? Yeah, four, six thousand. How much more you got before you're out of money? Not much. And I've been watching you back and forth tonight, smoking, asking for drinks, and you're telling me you're too busy to clean the kitchen? You know this is straight up lie. Yeah. You're a Navy man, aren't you? Yes. You're going to battle. Gotcha. Everything is on the line, right? Yep. Is this the guy you're going to battle with? Yes. Really? Yes. He's going to keep it clean. He's going to keep it organized. Absolutely. I think you're both full of uh, you know he won't do that. No, I know damn well he will. So why isn't he? Maybe. Lack so, of training. So you have to be trained to go look. Not to go look, no. Bullets are coming at you, and he doesn't even know it. Have you drained the oil sense and cleaned the fryer? Nobody has ever showed me how to drain the oil and clean it and put the same oil back in there. You get paid, right? Yeah. This is your job. This is not rocket science. This is drain the oil, clean it, and strain it back in. You're blowing it, and he's paying the price. And you know better. Don't claim ignorance. You're not trying. And as long as you don't try, I will bust you, and I will embarrass you, because I am going to save his retirement. Get it? Yes, sir. Go clean your frickin' kitchen, and I will come back here tomorrow, and I will teach you how to win because right now you're just losing. These are straight up excuses. You're right. You know, when someone told me earlier tonight that you want to do a good job here, and you I have to want to do a good job. this attitude, this is And that cook, if he doesn't clean his mess, does he have a job here? Does he? No. Go tell him. Take control of this, and then I will bail you out. You're acting like a straight idiot right now. You're What's acting this? like you normally act, which that Yeah, okay, I'm working. Yeah, dude. He's working. Shut up. Man. Don't act like you're doing me a favor, Shut up. You're done. I know, can you see? You're done. Nope. Learn. Seriously, tr Tronus. Tronus. Nope. Hey, oi! Oi, dickhead! You mother Give me a shot! Stop now. Stop, dude. Stop. Stop. Shot! Are we done? Can we chill out now? At least Travis cut him off. Get the f out of here! 
here. This is really hard to watch. My purpose in being here is you. Do you need to go in and see him? He needs a kick in a freaking ass. Do you agree? I agree, yes. Okay. He needs to stop. Rock his world. Get the f out of here! I'm f up. What hey. the f Remember me? Oh. Your wife? You come home and you say, oh, I'm working so hard to turn around the business. I'm working I so am. hard. No, no, you're not. If you were really working hard to turn around the business, you would stop drinking. You would stop cursing in front of customers. Hey, right. guess what? If you came in here and actually worked a little bit. No, no, uh, no. Josh is actually blaming this on Alexia. I'm going in and putting a stop to this right away. I'm done. I am not watching this anymore, and I am not having you take the kids down the tubes with you. You either agree to stop this, recommit to this business, and recommit to our family. We have put everything on the line. We have put our family on the line. We have put your parents on the line. You need no. No, let me just finish you that. Finish that, and this is just over. Just get it. You've been embarrassing her all night leaning in on these girls. And you had the audacity, sitting on your ass drunk, to actually blame your failure on her? It's been tough, John. Oh, sure, I know. You're working so hard tonight. How many customers have you checked their food? I don't know. How many people did you make sure he rang up? You have two children at home and a wife. You know you're a drunk, right? Yeah. You know it. I do. You know you're not working. So folks, now you know why I'm here. It's not because of a failing bar. It's because of a failing person. I think a man should earn the right to come home every day. You should sleep in your bar tonight. Let's go. Let's just get out of here. Come here, beer, brother, William. Terry, do you care at all that it's illegal that you're gambling in a bar? So did you know that it's a misdemeanor? I was for the just mentioning bar to be that. Gambling? I just was do you understand that? that to him. I do, John. How many people have you taken money from? You're running a gambling operation or a bar? Which is bar? Do? Stop the game. Give him his money back. Okay. And is there anybody else who lost money to the asshole tonight? I did. You guys all lost money to him tonight. He's paying every one of you back right now. Yeah! Correct. Give them their money. You can go f yourself. Oh, no. You're in the bar business. You're not a pool hustler. That's illegal, isn't it? Yeah. Pay them all back now. Yeah. Line up. Who has money coming? What did you put on? 20. Pay him back. Let's go. Hell yeah. You just gave him his 20, didn't yeah. you? You knew how to count pretty well I when did, you were getting yeah. it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. But you don't count yeah. so good when you're giving it back, do you? Come on. That's what I have left, exactly. so that's what was what So now you're gonna give her, now you're gonna give him back some of her money, aren't you? You see, Big Shot Terry, they're in debt $300,000. He's losing $2,000 a month, and now he's gonna give your bar money back to them, isn't he? Yes. So here's the deal. You want me to help your bar so you don't lose money anymore? Yes, I do. Would you like me to help you get your 300,000 back? I certainly would. Would you like me to make you perceive as less of an asshole. I tell you here and now, John, there's not one that ever had the balls to come and say it to me face. I did. Bars owned by assholes typically don't make money, do they? No. So, to fix the bar, I gotta fix the asshole. Mm. Well, she owns part of it. But she sits in a corner while you walk around and insult everyone. Do you ever tell them to stop? No. You've given up, haven't you? Basically, yes. So your wife gave up on you as a husband. Now she's going to give up on you as a businessman, too. Good job. Can you do anything right? Apparently not. Well, let's see if you can close your bar, empty it, because I'll have a staff meeting in 10 minutes, and then I'll know how to fix it. OK. Close your bar, empty it, and I'll be back. Okay. Guys, you got your money back. Don't gamble with this asshole anymore, OK? Right, boys and girls, let's pay the tabs and leave, please. Till I get me ass reamed again. 
I hate starting a rescue so angrily. But when I see raw chicken mixed with cooked product and no people are gonna get sick, I can't contain myself. I had to go in right then and there and stop it. You Joel? I am. I'm John Taffer. Where's Keith? I think he's right behind the bar or maybe in the kitchen. Let's go stand back here for a minute. Keith, I'm John Taffer. Hi, John. How are you? Let's go in there for a minute. I have never been so angry before. They nearly got my daughter sick tonight. You, hello. My name is John. What's yours? Tammy. Tammy, I watched you pick up raw chicken all night in your hand and then touch cooked food. Do you know how bad that is? What the hell do I do? How dare you pick up raw chicken and then pick up cheese with your hand, pick up crab with your hand, pick up spices with your hand. Shame on you. I have never seen anything like this before. How many times have you picked up raw chicken? Have you ever washed your hands? Yes. The f beside myself. Is this funny to you? What's the deal? Didn't see it. You didn't see it. She's touching raw chicken and she's not even washing her hands. Don't you know that's wrong? That was it. You do know it's wrong. Yeah. So you don't give a Do give a No, you don't care because you're not doing anything about it. OK. All right. Somebody who is irresponsible like you and yep. gets me. sick and doesn't give a That's, f when you that's right, know like you. For one second. You're like a criminal. Call me all the names you want. Why? Because you okay. know you're a right? Yes, I'm an ass. Those people are going to know you're an ass when I walk out of here, too. Very you're going to get sued from this. Take that food, throw it away. Throw it all away. Shut it down. Nobody eats. Clean this damn kitchen. I'm the out of here. Could've gone better. Don't eat anything here. Don't eat the frickin' fruit. And I'm not kidding, you will get sick. I could rescue any bar, but there might be some people that I can't rescue.